What's up everybody? Nick coming here again and uh, just want to say thanks for tuning in. Um, first and foremost thanks to uh, the new subscribers once again. It seems like uh, every other video I put out or you know every now and then I'm, I'm still getting some new subscribers so thank you for that. Thank you for your comments and your observations and, and all that stuff. It's uh, always very exciting to uh, check my email and see that uh, I've still got some new stuff coming in. Um, Another thing uh, you'll notice here in a moment or two, I've actually got myself a proper video camera. And so hopefully this turns out alright. I'm trying a little function to where the stuff in the background is kind of blurred out a little and it's more focused on, on me and uh, the fragrance bottles should I choose to, uh, to put those as the main focus. Uh, but today uh, I'm going to be reviewing, slightly reviewing anyway, uh, something called... Cure Ottoman. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, it is French for leather Ottoman. Um, and it's by a house called Parfum de Empire. Now, I was originally going to do a first impressions video of this. Uh, I had taken a few uh, shots last night at making a first impressions video, and I just. It was really late at night, and. Uh, I was messing up a lot, and I just wasn't happy with the overall product, so I uh, decided to not do that. We'll try that again. Perhaps I'll do a first impression of Jardin de Amalfi or uh, one of my other other fragrances that come in. Uh, I do have a surprise uh, set of videos on the way, of which I'm going to keep quiet about. Just, you know, for those of you that are watching and leaving comments, uh, yeah. There's going to be a little surprise for that. Uh, so, just getting right into it. Um, this is the decant. I purchased a little 10 milliliter decant. And, uh, you know, a little bit of it's already gone, of course. I've worn uh, a small bit last night, and then I gave a full wearing today. And first and foremost about the fragrance, I am totally sold. Um, this is full bottle worthy already. Uh... This is an odd fragrance in that it is uh, very complex, uh, but not off-putting in the slightest. I could imagine that even an untrained nose, uh, while they may not fully appreciate the notes that are in the fragrance, uh, especially if they wore it alone and didn't have anyone to help help walk them through it, uh, they would probably still like it. It's, it is pleasant smelling. Uh, immediately this morning at work, after our morning uh, meeting, we all gathered together as a store. Uh, uh, the store manager was walking about five, to, more, more like about ten feet behind me. And uh, I'd had the uh, cologne on for at least fifteen, well, more like twenty, thirty minutes at this point. Uh, and he says, boy, somebody smells good. And uh, one of the ladies goes, oh, it's probably Nick. Uh, he always wears these, other, he always wears these exotic uh, fragrances. <laughs> And it made me laugh and, and all that. So he walks up and he goes, yep, it is Nick. And, you know, and they got to talking and whatnot. So, you know, boom, right off the bat, there was one compliment. And then I got another compliment from two other co-workers uh, all throughout the day. Um, and that was, it was really lovely. Uh, always, always nice to hear stuff like that. Very uplifting and whatnot. But heading into the fragrance itself, uh, I'm going to walk you through a few notes uh, that play out on my skin and uh, just the way that it works on me. So uh, this, as you can tell, uh, based off the title, is focused around leather. Uh, this is not a dirty leather at all. This is more of a very, very, um, I don't want to say rich and regal leather. That doesn't seem right to me. What this, the way I would describe this is a, uh, is a brand new leather that hasn't been soiled in any way whatsoever. It smells as if it's never even been touched. Uh, and it's like a piece of furniture leather, not like a coat, uh, you know, type of leather. It just smells really, really, uh, the leather note in this just smells very, very new and untouched, unsoiled. Uh, and then there is uh, some uh, bal uh, balsam, and uh, there's a little bit of uh, iris, and uh, there's vanilla. 
on on the website itself of uh, Parfum de Empire, they don't mention anything about vanilla, but there is. Uh, it's either the way the notes play together, or there is vanilla in this fragrance. Uh, but one way or another, I smell vanilla on my skin, uh, and I also very surprisingly smell incense. Now, uh, incense is uh, one of the main main accords listed for this fragrance. However, I've never worn an incense fragrance before, uh, and I've noticed that when I do wear a new fragrance, especially one in which, or especially one that has notes that I'm not familiar with, I can't pick them out, especially the first time I've, I wear it. This was a time where uh, I, I could, uh, in uh, far, far into the dry down at about the four or five hour mark, I could smell the incense. And it was a nice play on incense, leather, and uh, and a little bit of vanilla. Uh, and the balsam stays throughout. Uh, when I first spray this on, it smells like straight, pungent, sharp, astringent balsam with leather that is unlike any leather I've ever smelled and just a hint in the very, very background of vanilla. Uh, and it stays like that for quite a while, uh, about at least 20 to 30 minutes on, on, you know, up close to the nose. It's it's sharp. It's sharply basalmic. And uh, it's weird at first. I, it, was, it, was, it wasn't off-putting, but it was something that I could not really grasp. So I had a hard time getting past that initial uh, blast of, of uh, you know, fresh fragrance and... Uh, it was just very strange to me. However, as time goes on, the uh, the sharpness of the balsam uh, calms down quite. It calms down a lot, and the uh, the incense comes in and uh, gives it this very very. Uh, it, it it gives it a very regal. That's where it comes in. Uh, it it helps give the the fragrance a more refined, more deep, rich, sensual feeling. And uh, this is another one of those fragrances. Uh, I haven't experienced this in, a, in quite a while. This is another fragrance that actually com conjures up imagery of a place that I've never been. When I smell this and really uh, take in the notes and, and focus on them, I'm brought to a, uh, a village, an old world uh, religious village, almost... Uh, Asian in nature, or Oriental, Oriental would be the better word, Oriental in nature, uh, all of the streets are uh, stone, uh, you know, that, that gray, cold stone type of uh, scene, that's, 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 you know, I, I picture that, and then I picture a very Oriental styled uh, church, or, you know, if you want to call it a church, uh, it's the best terminology I can use at the moment. Uh, and the inside of that is going to be, uh, you know, of course, the, the building's going to be completely wooden. And I just picture a, uh, you go in and um, there's no real carpet or anything like that, but instead there are just a rows of, you know, rows of these leather ottomans. And uh, when you first walk in, you know, you'll, uh, I just have the image of, a man walking through with his little case of burning incense, he's wafting it around, and as he goes through and leaves and exits, and uh, you know that that would be the opening. It's very sharp and and uh, balsamic, and uh, it's just very very pungent. And after the smoke settles down and the uh, fragrance is allowed to dry, it becomes rich and regal. The smoky incense is able to settle down and really permeate the room. And what you're left with is a smooth, incense-filled uh, room with the smell of very, very fresh leather. And uh, there's some nice woodiness to it. It's just very, very deep, and it's very pleasant. Uh, and it, like, again, like I say, it's unlike any any fragrance I've ever smelled, and there's even just a little hint of vanilla in there as well, and that, that you know, just makes it feel comforting. Um, now, looking at the note list of this, if you were to just read the notes, it looks a bit feminine, but trust me on this, this is a truly unisex fragrance. Uh, it's masterfully done. Uh, there's not many fragrances that I wear that I would consider unisex. It's I usually am the kind of guy that says it's either too feminine or too masculine. 
this is one that is truly unisex. Uh, it sort of reminds me of the unisex uh, qualities of a lot of Atelier's uh, fragrances. Uh, not in the that it's citrusy. There is nothing citrusy about this whatsoever. It's uh, purely oriental and, and deep and rich and exotic. Uh, but it's just done so well, it's blended so well that uh, this would smell very nice on a mature woman. Um, but this appears to be a bit more versatile for a man. Uh, I could see a younger man all the way up to an older man pulling this off. Uh, so, you know, there's that. Projection-wise, this clearly projects pretty well for the first two or three hours. After that, it becomes close to the skin. However, you never really lose the smell of it. So, I won't say that it becomes a skin scent, but it projects, I would say, at about elbow's length. Um, one of the buddies I asked, one of my buddies who came in late this evening, I asked him, uh, said, you know, were you able to smell anything? And he said no, and then he walked close to me, and then he's like, okay, yeah, there it is, it's very faint. And we got to talking about it, but I didn't bore him with all the details. But uh, projection and longevity are both, uh, they're on average. Uh, for the price point of this fragrance, in conjunction with the amount of fragrance that I used to spray on, I'm happy with it. I think it does its job very well. Uh, all of that considered with the complexity of the fragrance, it's easy to wear, uh, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's nice and warm. I could see this being well in the winter time. Uh, in the extreme cold, if your skin is very dry, you're going to need a little bit more fragrance. Otherwise, I would suggest that uh, if you're going to sample this, make sure you have a little bit of light, unscented lotion. Uh, I like to use. I like to shave, and then use a, an, an unscented aftershave lotion called a vino, and that uh, you know I, I put that all over around my neck, and so that helps you know uh, moisten my neck, especially in the cold months, and it keeps me from uh, my skin from getting very dry around my neck and face area. So I apply the fragrance, and it works like a charm. Um, it doesn't get too oily or anything like that. Really, really helps with longevity. Uh, you know, if, I, if, if I'm perfectly honest, if you can get in on split in this and uh, you want to experience incense uh, in a very leathery, fresh leathery fragrance that's, that's not dirty leather, this would be the one to go for. It's, uh, it's just very good. I, I get the feeling that uh, it's hard for me to put across any sort of real, real passion right now. Uh, just because I haven't lived with it for very long, but I can tell you with utmost certainty, uh, a full bottle will be added to my collection. Um, I'll probably... It's going to be difficult to not wear this scent. Uh, this this is going to replace my Eternal Oud for a while because Eternal Oud is just so expensive. Um, I, I would like to reserve that. Uh, for the extremely cold days or the days where I just feel like I'm on top of the world. Uh, Cure Ottoman. I, honestly, uh, I like the leather in this one better than I like the leather in Bel Ami. Uh, I even like the leather in this better than I like it in Aventus. Aventus is just a bit too campfire smoky, uh, whereas Cure Ottoman is incense smoky with leather, and it's very, very nice. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for now. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, you know, obviously feel free. That's why my comment section is there. If you'd like to learn more about where and who I get these decants from, uh, also please leave a comment. Uh, you could also join my little circle. Uh, granted, it's not large, but I do write about these every now and then. And I will be writing about this one, and I'll leave a link to it. So, um, feel free to join up in the circle and you know you we can email each other back and forth that kind of thing i'd be happy to help you expand your palate and uh you know get you know help you get your nose on some more nice exotic fragrances like this if it weren't for the nice people that i've uh, been able to come into contact with i certainly wouldn't be able to feed into the hobby like i'm able to and i just love being able to experience these and review and share my thoughts and experiences so once again uh, please feel free and i really appreciate you watching uh, to all the new subscribers thank you very much and uh, i look forward to talking with you all again
Thanks, and until next time, take care.